Alexa, who is the fastest one in the world? The human who has proven to be the fastest in the world is Usain Bolt, who can run at almost 42 kilometers per hour. Okay, okay. So Usain Bolt, all right. Alexa, who is the fastest woman in the world? The fastest woman alive is considered to be Elaine Thompson Hera. Okay, okay, okay. Alexa, who is the fastest woman alive? The fastest woman alive is considered to be Elaine Thompson Hera. Alexa, who is the fastest man of all time? The fastest man that ever lived is Usain Bolt, a Jamaican sprinter. Bolt holds the world record in the 100 meter and 200 meter dash events, with times of 9.58 seconds and 19.19 seconds respectively. He set these records at the 2009 World Championships in Athletics in Berlin, Germany. Okay. We not hear none of them names. At this point in time, I think Noah Lives will become a full-time comedian because I didn't know that the world's fastest man ran 9.81 seconds. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to discuss, is Noah Lives really the world's fastest man? I'm going to play a video by TXT Track Time. I love her content. I always watch her. Every time it's World Championship or Olympic time or whenever Jamaica has a track meet, we're going to just watch a little snippet and then discuss. Let's go. Hey Trackies, welcome, welcome back, back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Now there has been growing dissent online as it relates to the propaganda being spread by the media powerhouse machine, Team USA, as well as some of their athletes like Noah Lyles about the titles misrepresenting the titles fastest man in the world fastest woman in the world track is and pretty much taking on such titles and monikers for themselves and introducing themselves to a wider audience that is now engaged because it's the olympic games such falsehoods have sent the internet in a ripple at this particular point about how can these athletes and this country misrepresent these titles as such and spread such falsehoods. Now, guess what? Noah Lyles has come out with a response and I'm going to tell you what he had to say, track is, and then, of course, I'm going to get back with my thoughts. Now, this is what Noah had to say. I would like to address the comments surrounding the fastest man title. This title or the titles fastest man and fastest woman are awarded annually to the winners of the 100 meters at the world championships. I won the 100 meters at the 2023 world championships and Shakiri won the women's. We do not intend to disrespect or discredit past records or times set in the new season. This simply is how the title is determined. If another male or female wins the 100 meters at this year's world championships, I'm assuming he means next year because this year's an Olympic Games, they will assume the title. I hope this clarifies the matter for those who had questions. Now, it's quite interesting um, that Noah Laz has this. Here, if you want to watch more, I'm going to link it down below. I find it very funny that I'm not going to say Americans because I know that not all American people are like this. You have a lot of Americans that love Jamaican, support Jamaican track and field. But I'm going to say some American athletes as well as the American media. I find it very funny that at this point in time, Noah Lyles has the audacity to write something like this on his platform. I'm not sure if this was Twitter or if this was another social media. No, I distinctively remember growing up. I love to watch rock and feel. I love, I grew up in the area of Bolt. I grew up in the area of, um, Asafa Powell, you know, Shelly and Fraser, Elaine, those awesome and wonderful track athletes. I distinctively remembered that there was a title called the fastest man and fastest woman of the year or woman of the season. This title, fastest man or fastest woman of the season, was given to the individual who ran the fastest time at a particular event for the year. For example, I believe it was last world championship at the 200 meter, Sharika ran something around 21.46 or was it 21.48? I'm going to find the time and put it on the screen. She ran a time that was the fastest time of the year for any woman during the distance of the 200 meter but yet it was not the world record and it was not faster than Flojo's time. Sherika Jackson would have been called the fastest woman of the 200 meters or the fastest woman of the year 
at the 200 meters. However, Sharika Jackson is not the fastest woman in the world. It would be the same thing for Shakara Richardson. The fastest woman alive is Elaine Thompson era. The fastest woman of all time, that record belongs to Flo Jo. Even though there are some discrepancies as it relates to whether or not it was drug induced times, we will never know because she is no longer with us, rest her soul in peace. But Elaine Thompson Hira is the only woman alive who has run sub 10 6 in any major championships. Remember that she did this at the Prefontaine Classics in, I believe it was Oregon, where Shakari came last and Shelly Ann came second and Sharia came third. And her time was, I believe it was 10.54 or 10.56, right? So the fastest woman is not Shakari Richardson, and the fastest man alive is not Noah Lyles. When you win a major championship, such as the World Games, right, you are the world champion for that season, that period. Okay, for example, do you remember when Usain Bolt had first started in a major world championship and Johan Blake had won, right? What are you saying? That Johan Blake was the fastest man alive even though Usain Bolt was actively competing and had the record at that time? No. Johan Blake was the world champion for that year and for that season. So for no less to say that, oh, this title, the fastest man is awarded annually to the winners, of, no. That in and of itself is a falsehood and a falsity. As a matter of fact, I feel as if he's just gaslighting anyone and I feel as if he's just gaslighting everyone and anyone who is new and coming into the sports of athletics that don't understand the titles. He's trying to give a false impression, as stated before in the video by TXC Track Time. How can you say that you're the fastest man alive, but this season you haven't broken the, the, the 9.7 um, barrier or the 9.8 barrier? You have Kishane Thompson who ran 9.77 seconds in the Jamaican Olympic National Trials, right? He ran faster than you. So how can you say that you are the world's fastest man? That doesn't make any sense. Until you run 9.58 seconds, or faster and on over the 100 meters and until you run 19.19 seconds or faster over the 200 meters you are not the world's fastest man the world's fastest man over the 100 meters and 200 meters is sir Usain Saint Leo Bolt of Jamaica okay the fastest woman alive over the 100 meters is Madame Elaine Thompson Hera. The fastest woman alive over the 200 meters is Madame Sharika Jackson. The fastest woman of all time is Madame Florence Griffith Joyner. Get that right. I believe that this is just gross and blatant disrespect at this point in time. And it is the american media especially the american sports media that is trying to cause a divide between jamaican athletes and the american athletes or rather the jamaican fans and the american fans and it is an unnecessary divide because at this point in time black people don't need to be divided okay this this rift that they're trying to cause it is unnecessary you have fandoms on twitter facebook instagram all platforms cutting each other out for what right you have shannon sharp talking about jamaicans we jamaica we have something for you what does that have to do with athletics and track and field i remember growing up yes usain Bolt had his time when he would be like a little showman he would do his to the world sign he would do his little facial expressions it was light it was airy it was fun i don't know if i felt that way because i am jamaican i don't know how non-jamaicans felt about it but there was a humor to it no i'm watching sports I'm seeing Noah Lyles, he's tearing off his shirt, he's doing weird arm movement things. Like, I'm just not enjoying the showboating. It seems and it comes off as boastfulness instead of somebody who is just happy to be here, happy to run for their country, happy to do what they have to do. Listen, if Noah Lyles actually runs faster than 9.58 seconds, which I doubt, okay, fine, Jamaicans would say, hey, you're the world's fastest man. But until then, do not claim a title that doesn't belong to you. And this shows that Noah and the media in America, they do not respect Jamaicans 
and what they have done for the sports of track and field okay why would he feel comfortable going on the camera and saying hey this is no lie as the world's fastest man unless he knew that his people would actually accept it don't you think that there there is actually an audience that believes that he's the fastest man in the world we here in jamaicans it, we here in Jamaica, we're not delusional. We know who the fastest and the slowest and the this and the that. We know who that title rightfully belongs to. But there are persons who don't know. And so he's catering to those audiences. And for me, it is the audacity to go on a Sephora Powers podcast, one of the world's fastest men before you sail boat, and who actually ran sub seven sub 9.7 and you haven't ran that as yet and you're going to say that you're the world's fastest how does that make any sense it goes to show that you don't respect jamaicans nor their contribution to the sport of track and field it goes to show that you are actually being encouraged to do this because remember in my last video which i'm going to link somewhere right here or right here i said that he knows what he's doing there was actually a clip where he was on his the po a podcast and he was saying that, oh, he or the podcaster, one of them, they were saying that, oh, we know what we're doing when we say these things and put these things in the titles. Oh, we're the fastest man or, oh, the Americans are going to um, take back sports or athletics from the Jamaicans. They know that it's going to cause an outcry or cause an outrage from the Jamaican fans. Because guess what? Brand Jamaica is very big, even though Jamaica is, is a tiny island. Our brand is well recognized. Jamaicans are very active on social media platforms. And when they see these things, they know that the, the Jamaicans are going to react. They're going to click. They're going to comment. And whether the reaction is negative or positive, the views will get their money. And that is what they want. It's called rage baiting. They are purposefully saying things and doing things in order to upset the Jamaican fans to get them to react and respond because clicks and views and likes equal money to them on YouTube and other social media platforms. So, no Lyle saying this, it is nothing that we should take seriously because we know at the end of the day, the right we know who the rightful titles belong to. Even ChatGTP agrees with me. Even Google, even the video that I showed you with the man asking Siri who was the world fastest man, that that alone should be proof enough that Loyal Lies is some, some I don't know, something up, something wrong with him. Allegedly. <laughs> like something is not right with this man. Okay? Okay. But anyways. I also want to mention the fact that when Elaine, Shelly, and Sharika, when they were in their top form, right? You remember this was like a year ago, two years ago. No, Shelly, you know, she's coming out of the sport. She has done her time. She is one of the greatest female athletes. Elaine is injured and Sharika, I'm not sure about her fitness, right? When these women, they were on top, were they called by their names? Were they called Shelly, Sharika, Elaine? No. They were referred to as the Jamaicans, the Jamaicans, the Jamaicans, the Jamaicans. No one is calling Shakari and T.T. Terry and Alia Hobbs and Gabby Thomas the Americans. We can say their names. So why can't you give Jamaicans the respect and Jamaican athletes the respect by calling and highlighting the value? Of the women who have contributed to the sport by calling their names that is also a gross disrespect right and we also need to remember that there have been times i know this might be a little bit unrelated but just bear with me as i make this point right look at flojo let's bring her let's bring up our flojo flojo's times have been questionable because there has been a lot of speculation as it relates to whether or not she took drugs there have been documentaries and things like that you have never publicly heard a jamaican athlete bash you have never publicly heard a jamaican athlete bash the world record question flojo's record in spite of the amount of speculation and drug allegations that have been sent her way as a matter of fact there was a world championship or was it the olympics there was a major championship where sharika jackson had done very well and there was a reporter from the united states that had questioned her what do you think about the world record and flow joe and things like that and she said what do you mean the world record is a world record i'm the national record holder i'm on the championship um record holder so i'm just grateful we give it one person 
recent history of Rick Fox and there's some questions around that time. I'm wondering what, what do you make of the current love report? Come again? There's one person in history who's run faster than you tonight. I'm wondering what you make of the current world record. Do you, do you believe in that time? What kind of question is that supposed to be? Well, there's some questions about... Isn't it about the world record? It is the world record. Yeah. So why do you think I need to question the world record? There are some questions Well, about that, that's not me. Okay. And that question is so rude of you to ask. Okay, thank you. And I knew that his intention was to get her slipping and cause some public outrage, which had actually backfired on him. So if we can respect the world record for the women's 100 and 200 meters as it is, as Jamaicans and Jamaican athletes, in spite of the amount of rumors and speculations around it, why can't you respect the living Usain Bolt and his records that have been proven, verified, he has been drug tested, all of which has become negative, and he is still living and breathing? Why can't you respect that as the world's fastest man? But you, who can't even run 9.7, you're going to say that you're the world's fastest. Make that make sense. All this is doing is just exposing Noah for who he is. Because at this point in time, as I said before, he knows what he's doing. He just wants the attention. Don't give it to him. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. You can watch other videos here. Don't forget to like, or here. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.